Hey, young world, wanna hear a story? Close your eyes and you can pretend you're me. I'm cut from- Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, what we're gonna cover is how to launch your website. Now, contrary to popular belief, it's a lot simpler than what it's made out to be. Now you could launch with as easy as a cut, like free, literally free to launch your website, or you could spend 50 to 100 bucks to go onto a very reputable platform, and you could spend a couple hundred to a thousand to build your own site and your own platform. So we're gonna cover the different options that you have, the pros and cons to each one, and by the end of this video, I want you guys to make your own decision as far as who you're gonna go with, and don't make any excuse to not launch your brand. Links will be included at the bottom. We'll feature different free trials and overview of what we discussed today. So let's, let's jump right into this. Now we're gonna cover WordPress, Etsy, Store Envy, Wix, Squarespace, and Shopify. Now before you start looking at it, you're like, holy shit, that's a lot to cover. I'm literally gonna touch base on some of these and then kind of give you guys a direction that you need to take. I think a lot of times what happens is that when you're when you're looking to launch, you really overanalyze the situation. So what I'm gonna do here is just really make it very straightforward and very easy for you to make your decision. So we'll start off with the fundamentals. So when you're doing your research, you're gonna come across a lot of information on the web. I wanna make sure it's understandable. So then that way we can move forward with what option you're gonna to wanna to pick. So fundamentals of how the internet works. Now, if you already know how this works, just skip another minute or so and then we'll go into the details again but if you're new to the website and online space this is going to be a good cover for you so pretty much what it is is you're sitting on a computer right now and this is you and you typed in some YouTube web address what happens there is that it goes to a domain name server this is pretty much like the yellow pages of the internet they find what you typed in they go to the web host to pull the files and they're therefore sent back to you so you're able to see everything through the web host that is hosting that content so when you're launching your website you want to buy you're gonna to have to buy a domain a domain name is like a www.yourapparelbrand.com and then you're gonna to have to register it with somebody whether it's Bluehost, GoDaddy, um, HostGator, whatever whatever web host you decide to use they're gonna pretty much create an IP address they're gonna store it and then they're going to offer you some web hosting, meaning that this is where you can host your files to your website. So any file from your website is going to be held in your web host. That way, when people type in your, your address, they're able to pull whatever you have up there. So that in a gist covers what a web host is. Now, web hosts, you know, they offer all kinds of different packages, whether it's free email addresses, free domain names. There's all kinds of stuff and there's comparison lists all over the Internet. So I'm not going to cover that. But just keep in mind that one of the top ones right at this time is Bluehost. They offer some of the best service, some of the best reliability in the industry, and overall are really beating the competition to, uh, to what it means to host a website. So in this scenario, we're going to play that. Um, WordPress is pretty much a plugin that you could, um, Bluehost allows you to easily plug into your WordPress theme. So meaning that if you buy a WordPress, I mean a, a Bluehost package, you could quickly and easily install a WordPress theme. Now this allows a lot of everyday people to, to use WordPress, but WordPress is a very robust system. You can make it as simple or as complicated as you want, meaning that you could really go super custom with a WordPress site and really make it your true shopping experience. Now WordPress is very good for anybody that's, that's, that wants to do more of the visuals and blogging and you know more of that type of, uh, type of work and then have a website on the side as well. But it could really be everything that you need. Um, it's just that WordPress does require some knowledge into coding and into customizing you know, to your liking or you can hire somebody for that and they could also customize it for you. But of course there's fees associated with that. So it's uh, very good for online stores, very good for, for, for blogging, and overall, this is how it kind of breaks down for you to kind of understand it. Um, Bluehost is going to be the host if you decide to go with it, or GoDaddy, or anybody else, you could kind of plug them in here. Um, but in this illustration, we're going to go with that. So Bluehost is where you're going to buy your hosting, they're going to give you a space to host your website and all your files, and they're going to give you email addresses and everything else, etc., etc. Um, so then you're going to install your WordPress theme, whatever theme you decide to use for your website, you're going to install it there. And then once you're ready to launch an actual shopping platform, you're going to install the WooCommerce. So the beautiful thing about WordPress is that there's all kinds of third party apps to do whatever you want with your site. WooCommerce being one of the top, 
e-commerce platforms there. So you're able to upload your products, you're, they're able to help in processing the sales, everything comes through them, and then you pay your cut to PayPal or Stripe or whoever it is that, that's, that's managing your payments. Then you have your online store ready to go. Now, one thing to really consider when choosing your themes here is to make sure that whatever theme for whatever platform you decide to use is optimized for mobile viewing. Um, it wasn't that important before, but now with traffic, 60 to 70% of traffic coming from, from phones, it's only going to get even more. So with that in mind, always look for themes that look good on your cell phone first, and more specifically an iPhone, since 50% of the population has an iPhone. You want to look for sites that look really good on your phone, then look really good on your tablet, then look really good on your, on your desktop, because people aren't using computers that much, I guess. Um, I still do, but a lot of people don't. So call me old school, whatever you want, but definitely always look at your web, at your mobile, um, your mobile site first. Always focus on that. So now that we kind of covered the Bluehost WordPress relationship for some of you that are kind of wondering, and of course there could be all kinds of other relationships like GoDaddy, uh, Bluehost, or whatever it is. You choose whatever web host you have, whatever web host you want. I got links down below to some pretty good deals on Bluehost. Um, so if you would decide to take advantage of that, that'd be cool. Um, so now we move into the online maker communities. It's what I refer to as the online maker communities. It's the Etsy's, the store envies of those. Um, the beautiful thing about having these kind of things up there is that it helps improving your product's need in the market. Now just keep in mind that each platform has its own target market, meaning that Etsy is more of a handcrafted artisan type of platform, meaning that the sellers a lot of the sellers of actual items are going to be your buyers. So if the sellers of the items that are being sold on Etsy is your market and your product is tailored to them, you're gonna have some good sales. If it's a product that doesn't relate to what these people are like or what they're into, then you're not really gonna sell much. So Etsy is a really good, um, really good, very specific niche in the market and it's really good for you to launch on there if, you're, if this is your market. Um, but just keep in mind that platforms like these limit your ability to really sell anything else that you might decide that has a conflict with the Etsy's rules and policies. So always look into rules and policies of the Etsy. See if your product is legal to sell on there. Um, like for instance, for the longest time, they didn't want any manufactured products, but now they're letting some people do it as long as you can prove your manufacturer and you register the manufacturing with them. So there's a lot of hurdles to go over. Um, it's very easy to start but I would recommend you start moving away from the platform as soon as you start gaining some sales because they can shut you down at any time. Um, Store Envy is another one that kind of has a similar business model as Etsy. What's cool about Store Envy is that you can make your site look custom or however you want it to make it look. And then you also can list your products on their platform, which is pretty cool. Um, but once again, they have their own rules and regulation. It's a great place for you to prove your market, meaning that if you can get people to buy from your store envy site, then the products that you have are pretty dope and people are liking them. So that's when you can consider moving into a, your own website platform, which we'll cover now. Um, one of the options that you have, what I like to call these, is a quick and easy website platform, meaning that once you prove that people like your shit, you go onto this Wix and you can literally launch your own site or you can go onto Squarespace and literally quickly and easily launch your own website. So we'll start with Wix. Wix is a very easy to use template type of site. Choose whatever template you want, install your shopping carts, and everything is very easy to manage. Um, you can customize it to your liking, change colors, fonts, positioning of whatever you want to position. Um, it's a great platform for you to prove and for you to kind of start and grow your business. Uh, so there is no more excuses that you can't launch your own site because you don't have a couple hundred bucks. Wix lets you do it for like, I think 20 bucks a month on the e-commerce platform. Um, so once again, uh, once you prove it initially, move on to the Wix for you to sell your stuff, and then you could eventually move on to the higher platforms that are, that are meant for, for those that are really ready to take things quickly. Um, so you have Wix and you have Squarespace. Squarespace is one that's similar to Wix, um, but I hear it's not the best um, in customization. I personally haven't used Squarespace yet, but I've used everything else. Um, but I hear some good things about it. It might be an option for you to look into. So the one thing, the one product that I have used and that I really do support is gonna be the Shopify platform. 
These guys are definitely changing the game. Um, what they did is, ultimately what they did is they said, we're going to do shopping very well. We're going to do e-commerce very well. We're going to let people launch their websites quickly and easily. We're going to let them have all the tools at their disposal that they're going to need to grow their business with us. And we're pretty much going to fucking dominate the online market space. So that's what they're doing. Uh, overall, Shopify has some of the biggest brands selling through their platform. Um, so it's very well endorsed in the community. Everybody, um, you could also do drop shipping, all kinds of other plugins that they offer. Um, so it makes it very simple for you to really scale your business in a lot of different ways. Um, overall, it is one of the leaders and it's one that I recommend everybody eventually move into. Um, once you compare all the costs with everything, all the sites kind of end up costing about the same. Um, but Shopify offers the most and best robust um, system that they have. It truly honestly is. Um, there's links down below if you guys want to start a free trial. And then uh, you guys can really see for yourselves. Very easy to install themes and plugins and everything. Ready, easy, to, re Very easy for you to launch your site. Um, all it takes is a click of a button and you're good to go and ready to start selling. And then you could subscribe. I think the price is starting at like $29 a month. And there is no like you can decide to pay up front for the year or you can go month to month. So it's completely up to you. You guys can literally launch a website for less than 50 bucks if you take one of these methods and apply it. So make sure that you look into these, look into them, see if you're really serious about launching. This is going to be one of the steps. So now in order to decide on what platform works best for you, you're really going to want to look at what goals you have in mind. Um, everything, every one of these platforms that I mentioned, they all have a core competency of something. They all either do one thing very well. Um, Wix, for instance, allows you to launch it very quickly. So if you want to launch a quick site, test market it, see how it, how, how your brand reacts. I mean, how your customers react to your brand. Wix might be a good one. If a budget is something that's lower, again, Wix might be a good one. If skill set, your design skills for website are very, you're not really, you're not willing to learn something new then Wix might be a great platform. Um, and then on the other hand, if your goal is to really grow your business and quickly scale, then Shopify might be the best platform. If your budget is all right, you can afford a 30 bucks a month. Again, Shopify is a good one. Your skill set is limited, but you're, but you're uh, really into reports and analytics and you're really wanting to know where to spend your money, Shopify. Um, the same thing, I mean, goes to the other platforms. Really look to see what goals you have in mind, the budget that you want to work with, and the skill set that you have or that you're willing to learn. Because um, ultimately, that's what business is about. It's about really figuring out what aligns with what you want and what you want at the end, um, or what you envision for yourself at the end. And then you make decisions that lead up to that. So that pretty much covers this video, guys. Uh, once again, I wanted to make it very simple and easy for you guys to look into. There is a lot of information online and I figured I'd kind of condense that for you, help you make a decision and help you kind of understand what options you have. Uh, Shopify is number one. You have Wix, which is very easy. Then you have WordPress, which is fully customizable and allows you to do all kinds of shit with it. Um, so those are pretty much your top three. And then after that, you have your Squarespaces, you have your Etsy, Store Envy, and your other options there. Um, but I would say those are the top three in the in the in the listings and in the rankings. If anybody has a different uh, service or suggestion, just make sure to comment down below and let me know what you guys decide on. Shoot over your links and let's see what you guys build. Thanks again. Bye. Who's the god of Cape Cod? Who